I don't think the camera crooked. You think it's crooked? No, I'm just, I thought maybe it was. Oh, well, I, I think it's fine. If it's crooked, we apologize already. Y'all want the people in the background. <laughs> that is... This is the rawness of the show. Alright. Now, how y'all doing? We are back after one week. As everyone knows, I went to Atlanta this weekend. I had a really, really good time. I went there for Martin Luther King weekend. I know people was going to go there to party, but not to celebrate the life of Martin Luther King. And I did. You know, I went over to the historical site. Let me tell you, I don't know what it is, but every time I walk on that ground, it feels like... I know I'm walking on history, but my body just be feeling funny like, wow, I can't believe that. I'm actually down here. The house, I couldn't go back to the house because the tours were filled. But just, you know, going inside the Ebenezer Baptist Church, the original church. Oh, you know, we just, couldn't go when yeah. I was there. Yeah, but it was, it was open cold. this time. Oh, it was open this time? Oh, yep. wow. And I bought some stuff out of there. I bought some keychains and uh, buttons and shirts. They, and no, they, they no longer have service there because they have a new Ebenezer, right? Um, I don't know if they don't have service, but they look like they could have service. They had the piano. They had the, you know, the little choir, you know what you call it, the pulpit area. Yeah. They had the, uh, it look, it's it so really clean nice. in there. It's like so decent. I don't see I why they a new Because I know they built a new Ebenezer, so yep. I thought maybe they just made, you know. This is right street. across the street. It's bigger. And I heard that they made it after um, African um, huts, the, mm. um, the new church. But it's, it's, it's really, really nice. Um, I encourage any, any and everybody to go. If you are in the Atlanta area, if you live there or if you visit there, I think that is a place you should go to. Visit the reflecting pool, look at the grave, uh, Martin and Coretta, they have the eternal flame. They have so much stuff and now they got these uh, digital uh, digital documents of Martin Luther King's speeches, mm. his letters and everything. It's, I can't remember the name of the website, but I'm going to put it on here. Cause they merge with I can't I can't even remember the company they merge with, but every document now they got um, digitalized. Oh, online. you have to make sure you add that to this video. I definitely I will. It. It's it's like they're doing so much, and I feel that you know his legacy. I don't want to say it's forgotten about, but it's not mentioned a lot. Not even Black History. It's just kind of crazy. Like a no. lot of stuff is getting forgotten about. <clears throat> no, I don't. I don't think it's being forgotten about with certain people. I think it's the generation gap. I think that a lot of people our age and younger than us are just treating Martin Luther King holiday as a day where you don't have school or you don't have work or you take off of work to party. Like for instance, I was on, when I was on my way here today, it's so funny that you said that, I was on my way here today from work and as I'm driving, I'm waiting at the red light and on the pole, you know how they be having, you know, posters and things like that, promoting parties at different clubs. Well, they had this poster that was all on these, on this, uh, on this different, um, on these different poles, saying um, MLK weekend, come party with us at Lux Lounge. And I'm reading this, and I'm saying to myself, is this what this weekend has become, a party mm -hmm. weekend? It's like nobody actually takes the time to actually do what it is that should be done on Martin Luther King on the day. Um, I was speaking to one of my friends and he said to me, oh, you, oh, you went to work today? I said, yeah, because, you know, I really don't, I, I'm, uh, there's plenty of places that I could have went to, mm -hmm. to, you know, volunteer or do something. But I read, I, I decided that I wanted to go to work because I didn't want to take that day off just to sleep and not do anything and let the day go to waste. But I think that if you're not going to work on that day or if you're not going to go to school, you should at least go somewhere, volunteer at a shelter. Clean out your closet with old clothes and go donate it to, you know, a, 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 sh a shelter or um, uh, you can go paint a wall or just do something, you know, do something. It's a day of service and that's what you should be doing, serving others and not yourself. So when I was reading that stuff, I was just like, you know, it's, it's a shame that this is what it's become. It's not even about the whole memory of the man. It's about having fun and having a party. And it's also a shame that the promoters of MLK Weekend in Atlanta, whoever promotes the whole event, doesn't encourage those who come to Atlanta to go out and visit these historical sites that have to do with Martin Luther King. Because when I was there, there was nothing that was involving 
the whole party scene that was encouraging you to go yeah. to these places. Mm -hmm. I decided to go on my own because it was my first time in Atlanta and I didn't want to waste my time in Atlanta doing all this party and stuff and not going and not going and just being mindful of the real reason why we celebrate this holiday. So I don't think I, I have to disagree. I don't think it's the people that I think it's the, the generation gap. I think it's certain generations that are starting to forget the real meaning of MLK weekend and they need to they need to be yanked back by someone our age who are young like them and say, no, this is the risk, this is the real meaning. It's not all about partying and having a good time and shaking your ass and seeing who you can sleep with or how many numbers you get. Hmm. Shame. Well. With no <laughs> I'm just saying. But besides, you know, you know, you know, I did that while I was down there. I'm sure you did. But I'm. But. but, <laughs> Wait, but you know, oh, oh, no, oh, oh. <laughs> What was that? No. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, I really had a nice time. <laughs> I really had a nice time in Atlanta. And shout out to uh, Boy Revolution. Let me say something, y'all. I love Boy Revolution. Not even. Not even. Oh, let me find out. We wearing jewelry and stuff the same now. Yeah. And P.S. No, those are not my glasses he has on. No, they're not. No, but see, I just bought some stuff when I was in Atlanta. Oh, that's cute. What is I'm that? about to start buying a lot of accessories and stuff because I'm starting to like this. This is a necklace or a bracelet? I forgot. It's called a sham a sham something. So it goes around your neck? It goes around your neck and then the other one goes around the wrist. So how does it go? Isn't this a little too small for your neck? No, it's not too small oh. for my neck, bitch. Don't try it. I'm just see, I'm I might just... take this out there and go, bye! <laughs> He's not too young to get bed slapped. Well, too old. old. <laughs> All right. Yes. I, I, I like this stuff. That is cute. You guys are from Atlanta? Yeah, I got All it out right. the mall. But shout out to Boy Revolution. That's Courtney, uh, TT, and Nikki J. They're not like us, not at all. They they have their show, their blog talk radio. You know, they really trying to get them themselves off the ground. You know, they're working individuals. I just fucking love them. And I want y'all to go over to their YouTube channel and subscribe. And please follow them individually on Twitter and follow their uh, um, you Twitter, yeah, YouTube and Twitter, oh, YouTube. Boy Revolution. Um, you know, I, I spent some time with them. I club with them, party with them, had a good time. You know, I went out with Lionel. We all had a big dinner at Papa Do. I'm not going to put everything that I did this weekend in this video, but I did club. I had a good time. Uh, Courtney actually dressed me in this for the club, but the club was just so packed that I could not get in. And I'm like, if, if I can't get in from the inside. I mean, from the outside, I can only imagine what's going on in the inside. It was just too crazy. I mean, which club what, was this? This is called Five Nine Five. See, I was gonna go to Club Ninety Nine. Nine Nine Nine. Five, <laughs> five Nine Five. I was oh, I was about to say Herman Cain has a club. No, Five Nine Five. You tried it. <laughs> I went to Club Five Nine Five. It was too damn packed. We tried to find the uh, the freight depot, could not find it. Is that another club? Yeah, that's they had. They got so many places, got so many games in Atlanta, and they all be packed wall to wall, like nowhere to go. <laughs> but, I just, could, but I won't. It was just crazy, <laughs> wall to um, wall. <laughs> we had a great dinner at Papa Do. Don't do it. Ooh, girl, you just went there. Me, shout out to Miss Gia, Matt. Uh, Wade TV show, Jamar, uh, Eric, Courtney, me, um, <laughs> you, Lionel, and then somebody, I think, I'm not missing nobody, a and my friend Daniel, but Daniel was so quiet, I was ready to, you know, like, I don't like when people are quiet, I know you don't know these people, but get to know these people, these are nice people, anybody I hang around, with, who's Daniel, he my friend that I met in, um, at Inferno, and he and came to Atlanta and Atlanta. Then we hung out. Yeah, we hung out. We went to the MLK site together. No. no, you never met him yet. But he's real nice, but he's quiet, you know. He, yeah. And that's but he told me that's just how he is. I'm like, okay, but you know, he real cool with me, but you know, you can't I don't you can't be quiet all the time. You gotta talk, you gotta say something. <laughs> no shade. No shade. 
I'm oh, like, cause, 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 you forget, cause you forget that they at that table. And you no, don't want to forget. Okay. You know, I know exactly what you mean. Even though, you know, you can't really force somebody to talk. But I know what you mean. Because sometimes, like, you know, with me or with you, when you get somewhere with a bunch of people that you know, and you bring somebody with you, you want them to talk and feel comfortable so that, you know, you won't have to keep saying, are you all right? Mm -hmm. Or this, that, you know, so yeah. you want everybody to talk. So I see what you're saying. I'm like, damn it, talk. Daniel, speak up. <laughs> Ain't that what Rihanna said? Shy, Rihanna. Yes. Yes. So, but it, it was a fun dinner, and you know, uh, I was teasing Miss Gia with the, you know, the Beyonce stuff. Oh, she, she wrote me on my Facebook. Yeah, we was having a stand boy at that table, and you know how you get to having a good time. I'm glad I wasn't there. You having a good time talking uh -huh. and eating and drinking. Uh huh. So that bill. My bill, cause, no, I was trying to be nice recording it, like, you know, girl, I got you, I got you. <laughs> when I tell you I got that bill, and you that was the it. highest bill in my life. And you that probably wanted to say, Encore, you got people. You okay, people. no shade. <laughs> Bitch, let me show you this bill, okay? You got it? I took a picture. <laughs> <laughs> because, because, yes, I said, am I buying a PlayStation <gasps> or am I eating dinner? And I kept saying that. And what was the, the name of the restaurant? Papa Doe. Papa Doe Seafood Kitchen. It's a New Orleans restaurant. I was freaking over it. I don't want to look at your pictures. Bitch, you can... Uh-uh. I don't keep them in that file. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> look at that price. I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you seen that price? Wait, 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 wait. And that's just us. Oh, my God. That is just this us. Is just you and him? Yes. Oh no! So imagine. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Courtney would have paid his own. Oh, oh! But you can't no. do that. If Courtney wasn't gonna pay for his food, Courtney would have sucked my dick down. Oh, oh goddamn weekend! Oh, for that price? Oh, oh no! What? <laughs> But see, that's what happens when you be nice. No, that's what happens when no. you when you're fancy. I'm not I'm fancy, fancy and I can do this and I can fly here and I'm a big no. YouTube star. No, see. So that, see, I'll tell you in a minute. I'm a co-host working on a co-host salary and I can't afford that. Oh no. Oh yes. No. <laughs> sure. That was a hot mess. Can you first of all, if they would have handed me that, I would have looked and said, oh wait, 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 excuse me, I think no, I need the receipt for me. Not for the whole table. Okay. For me. That is for you. Like hell it is. I could not believe <laughs> I could not believe it. Courtney, <laughs> you lucky, boo. <laughs> but see, he wasn't really doing the drinking. It was me, but still. I couldn't believe that that bill I just was Oh, paying. well then you know what? Then I'm sorry, Courtney. Then you're asking uh, but, no, but no, <laughs> but no. But no. You need to learn how to stop drinking so damn much. No, but girl, I told you the drinks was pop. We were just having a good time at pop. You need a, you, you, Daniel should have been your sponsor. Uh-uh, no. I don't need no sponsor. Well, sure, I do. <laughs> With a bill like that, I need a sponsor. We'll call somebody real quick. Transfer this money in my account real okay. quick. But you know, it was, it was, it was a fun time. Went to Club Cream, you know, we brought out the VIP area. Oh, oh, you are <laughs> You are too fancy. <laughs> you buying out VIP areas and you complaining about a bill like that? <laughs> so, <laughs> when it's a couple of people, you can split it. Let me tell you something. Mm. I, you know what? Did you see that There's, bill? You know what? Did you see I that bill? You know what? <laughs> There's got to be one diva on the show. And you are it. Because let me tell you something. I you. am not a diva. When it comes to buying out VIPs no. and buying drinks for everybody. Let me tell you why. food for everybody. That is not me. I will tell you in a minute. You have to pay for your own First shit. of all, I love that club. Unless we having sex or unless we date. I love that club. But not enough to be around all of those people <laughs> stuck together. So you and want to buy out the VIP. VIP. Yes, it is VIP area, and then somebody... You know what's so funny? I'm sorry to cut you off, but you know what's so funny? You don't never do that for me when I go on what? vacation with you. You don't never buy no VIP. Them. No, you don't. Uh. You make me pay for everything, and you kicked me out of your hotel room when I was drunk that Hold day. Hold on, first of all... Get him out of here. I didn't kick him. Take, take him to his own room. He's such a liar. Oh, you didn't say that? Yeah, I didn't never say that. You didn't say take him to his own room. No. Oh, I told him to take him to your room. All right. He wanted to go to your room, so take him to his room. You know what? And you was laying there so peaceful. Like, <laughs> then you tried. Why couldn't I just have slept in your room for the night? 
Why'd you make me go to my own? I didn't kick I was drunk. Out. You wanted somebody to Somebody took advantage of me. Oh, yeah. Courtney and uh, Nikki J. No, I'm just oh, saying well, somebody could have broken my room after they left. But no, but you was on. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it took advantage of me. Not saying that I wouldn't have liked it. But still, I'm just saying. Oh, God. No. It was, they, they would have got you. And how they going to get in your room? I'm, somebody could have easily, you know, yeah. snuck in there. You know, I was... You was all right. You just you just had a cocktail in you, you know. You don't know what I had. They could have slipped me a date ring. Oh, but you, you know what? You was answer. drinking. You the one. Oh, let's get fucked up. Oh, let's no, 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 no. They that's did it to me. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, as really. As strong will and strong mind as Mikel is, somebody did something to you? Because somebody I made you do something? No, you didn't. No. <laughs> That's no, not, that's it. Mikel said, I want to get drunk. How y'all just sitting around? Let's oh, get drunk. that is a so lie. First of all, that shot. is a lie. So you know I don't even talk like that. That is a lie. They this, said, no, they well, said, oh, Mikel, you want. need to take some. To take a shot. And so I said, okay, fine. I'll take a shot. I took a shot. And took here, one. He take took it, one yeah, shot. Yeah, and then here, take it. Oh, take another one. All right, I'll take another one. I took another one. Here, take this one. No, no I don't really want to take no one, no more. Ah, uh -uh, go here. Why are you here, the bitch? That's why I was like Don't make me get like Don't make me get like Shirak. What? Don't make me call the source. Okay? Call him. I was uh, peer pressure. <laughs> call him. Peer pressure my ass. Mikel said, we in Miami. It's Friday night. Let's drink. Let's get drunk. And then he and mind you, I was the only one drunk. And then, oh, he was doing <laughs> shows. Mm. But you know, I'm going to just let, I'm yeah. not going to go there. Don't I'm going to let it slide. Go there. I'm going to let it slide. But you know, Atlanta was fun. You, I thank, thank you, Atlanta. And I done talked to one of the promoters already. And I'm having my 28th birthday party in Atlanta at Club Cream. Wow, you, you are all invited to go. You are a huge celebrity. I keep telling them one day I'm gonna be just like you. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but one of these days I'm gonna be just like you. I'm not no celebrity. I wanna be a big blogger just like you. And shout out to all the people that I've met in Atlanta. It was fun. Imagine buying out the VIP. It was fun meeting y'all. How did you how did you pull that one off? Cause you know, trying, me trying, his friend and my friend, we bought it out. <laughs> He said, it, he said it like it was just, oh and yeah, then, we just put out the VIP. We did, and then, you know. The VIP, I, I'm trying to find money to get in the club. Somebody that works, I'm not going to put their name out there, but somebody that works with Beyonce was there, <laughs> you know, partying right next to us. He <laughs> had a damn good time. Oh, he was in the VIP. I already know you texted oh. me. Oh. Were you drunk when you texted me? Yes, oh. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> I I'm going to know you okay. texted me. <laughs> he going to say yes. I forgot. You forgot you texted me. Yes. Bitch, I don't text you on the regular. You sure don't? Okay. All right. All right. Oh, but let's keep it that way. Shit. I'm just saying. You know, there's the door. All right, but I don't want to. I don't want nobody seeing Kevin pop up like, oh, that's the celebrity Kevin. Mm -mm -mm. Trying to hack Trying my phone to okay. get to you. Let me tell you something though. Let me tell you some real stuff. It's starting to get scary <laughs> on the computer. Wow, what happened? Because, I mean, I like some people from Twitter, but now I'm like, damn, bitch, you tweeting me and my whole crew? Like, what is going... I'm for real. I am for real. It's like, it's getting scary. Oh, like, I'm not tweeting y'all like nasty stuff? Not nasty stuff, but I'm about to stop four square where I'm at, where I was at. Like, I mean, it's good to, to, to do it because you want to win points and everything, but... Oh, that's the one. I was about but to say. But when you thinking about, like, your safety and stuff, like, that shit ain't cool. And some people are starting to become scary. Well, I like, told you a long time ago you shouldn't do that. Like, I don't do it. I'm, I'm looking through my DMs. They looking scary. My friends writing me and texting me. We talking and stuff. I'm like, this shit don't sound right. Some shit just don't add up. You know, so, and then, then I'm, um, oh, God. I don't want to say this. I'll tell you after the, after the thing. <laughs> Cause it's just crazy. It's some scary shit going on. But let me tell y'all something. You don't want to fucking try me. All you crazy bitches out there, y'all better just leave me alone. And leave my friends alone too. This, this shit is scary. It's That's scary. how you know you're a celebrity because I don't have not one stalker. I don't even think you might wants to stalk. See, you probably don't even know. You probably Oh, do. I know. If I have a stalker. Shit, I'm like, damn. If I do have a stalker, please, I just hope they're fine. This video, I might have to add timestamps in this video. <laughs> no, you know how them girls get. Yeah. You better add timestamps. Well, no, you don't have timestamps. No, when we come back stuff. with a, a video yeah. that we missed for a whole week, you don't put no timestamp. <laughs> you 
put timestamps when we do on videos every two days, not for when we've been missing for a whole week. Let their asses sit and watch it. Did you thumb? I gotta sit here and make it. Shit, how you doing? <laughs> okay? I don't so you need to sit here and watch it. Now let's talk about this internet censorship going on. Oh my god. The internet is blacked out. YouTube didn't black out, but the parent company, Google, they got their shit blacked out. Wikipedia is blacked out. Um, TwitPic was kind of blacked out. And a lot of sites are saying stop the SOSA. Basically, what they want to do is stop the illegal. I think um, it was SOPA. The SOPA. What did I say? SOSA. Oh, SOSA. So SOPA and PIPA. Child, that sounds <laughs> like a group. That sounds like Mariah Carey's kid's name. <laughs> no, so middle sad. name Pippa. Miss Mariah, I mean, I'm gonna gonna come for you. Okay. Um, what about Blue Ice? <laughs> I'm Blue Ice. Yeah. That's how they been. So they're trying to shut down um, um, websites that shows illegal movies, illegal music, and they want to shut down websites that have the links to. The websites meaning they want to start suing and you know if the, uh, the website gets sued they gotta spend all of this money then you know these sites can really go bankrupt so basically what they're trying to do is censor the internet and if you don't have YouTube and Google and you know sites like Wikipedia and everything posting stuff or having whatever they want you don't have a scorpion show you can't watch movies online you can't download music online because everything will be censored or can be blacked out due to this law or this regulation the government will have the choice to shut down X website or an X web you know whatever website they want to do so basically what you need to do is because Congress is agreeing with them what you need to do is call your local congressman or visit a website to find out who you can call and tell your congressman do not um, have oh, this yes, law passed on this yes. do not do that don't do that and furthermore aren't there more important things that the government should be worrying about like how can we uh, uh, lower the unemployment rate in this country? How can we produce more jobs for the jobless in this country? You know what I mean? Why is gas almost four dollars in certain cities, and then in other some states it's up to five dollars? What the? And y'all are worrying. The government is worrying about the online pass. online <laughs> stuff like YouTube and Google and things like that. I don't think it should be a black. I do think there should be some type of limitations what they are. No, but not that damn severe where you are affecting people's livelihoods. Let me tell you something. Like my, let me tell you something. When it comes to my money, I, I can't even fat. I can't even begin to say which websites should have it and which websites don't. Because when you when you start to pinpoint on which website should have it and what first of all I can tell you which website should have that okay. is those child porn websites. Mm -hmm. That is first and foremost. That should never even that be That should never existence. even be allowed is for child porn. You know when you're on a porn website for some of you out there and you are looking for something and then all of a sudden a, a pop-up pops up with a little girl and a, a that's disgusting. Those are sites that should have that not adult porn sites. But I'm saying the children porn site, th that stuff should be banned and it should never even been allowed to be in existence. The government needs to worry about more important things than trying to black out YouTube and Google and things of that nature. It is time to start getting shit in order, okay? Because somebody who doesn't have a job and has not had a job for the past two or three years is not worrying about what is on YouTube or what no. is on Google. First of all, there are a lot of people who are jobless who look for free libraries to go to so they can Google where they can search for a job. And for them to try to black... Let me tell you something. You want to talk about the job industry and everything? This is my motherfucking job. I don't work a 9 to 5, but this is a job. That's they right. take taxes out. You know, I make money off of this. This is my livelihood. And, and everybody is not built for a 9 to 5. I don't think I can do it no more. I love doing this. I want to have a website that I can run. I want to have a YouTube show where I can make my coins from and go ahead about my life and, you know, entertain others. This is how I make my money. And with them trying to shut it down or limitize it, mm -hmm. like, that's fucked up. It's very much so effed up. The only thing that I can think of that should be 
blacked out is those child porn websites. That is the number one thing. That child porn black. websites and mo and websites that shows and websites that movies. Yeah, illegal if movies. Anything that's going on illegal. Yep. Why don't you shut down no, that website yeah, or that I IP guess. address where it's coming from or the people that's behind it? If you want to put the people in jail, thank you. You know, put them in jail. I know you know what's so crazy. Them people that had to pay like million dollar settlements for like five minutes worth of a song getting downloaded. Now I think some of that stuff is too extreme, but I do think five should be handed out mm -hmm. and if you find them X amount of times then it's time for them to go to jail that's all you got to do you ain't got to um, put a limit on everybody life and what they do because yeah. of some dickhead when they have illegal movies and pitch not pictures illegal movies and illegal music online mm -hmm. and then you want to shut down the websites that actually have the links to these sites that don't even make sense. It doesn't make sense. They don't know what they're. They don't know the. They don't know what it is that we elected them in office to do. They're not. I did not go to the polling office to vote for somebody to tell me that I can't go to YouTube or Google or World Star or XTube or my Vister and all yes. that other stuff. I'm just saying. I go there. I did not elect you <laughs> into office to do that. Okay. I elected you into office to do the important jobs. Okay. Trying to get people out there that are not like me, that need jobs so they can be working, so the unemployment rate in this country can go down, okay? It's horrible that this is what we have to deal with. Like, this should not even be an issue. And another site they need to uh, shut down, there was websites for those people whose videos having sex with animals. That was yes. disgusting. Oh my God, I saw this. Oh, what if they God. shut down sites like World Star and Hip Hop? Oh, I will go crazy. No, because they still no, a lot they, of videos. Yeah, they, okay, they do still a lot of videos. But find them. Don't shut it down. Because, I mean, World Star Hip Hop, first of all, let me just tell you this. Even though World Star Hip Hop have a lot of graphic videos on there that should not really be on there, World Star Hip Hop gets me through my day at work. And World Star Hip Hop, Hip Hop helps a lot of people because a lot of stupid people go on World Star and they post these videos of them jumping people and beating people up and stupid stuff. And these type of these websites help law enforcement to catch these people. And they stupid as hell for having their face out there like yeah, the they boys. should. That jumped that Asian boy. Oh, I saw that. that was See, hard. I don't like. I don't, let me tell you something. Don't I don't say like, shit. Yeah, I don't like watching it. I don't like watching and I don't like the I had to fast forward it all the way to the end after they was beating him up. To, like, get, and he was so bloody. I felt so bad. Because seeing somebody get hit in the head, I, oh, girl, I can't take that. I can't take seeing somebody get punched, kicked. Yeah. Anything with doing with the head, I can't. I can't take So that. basically, we all agree that. Yeah. It needs to start. Yeah. Call your local congressman, please. Please. And fill out the form. Fill out the um petition. the petition and everything. Y'all can y'all always say can nothing get done, but it, it won't get done if you, you don't, don't do anything about this, right? Yeah. What else we had? Um, this Italian cruise that went on. I mean, the Italian cru what was it? It's an Italian cruise. Yeah, it's an Italian cruise that was going on over the weekend, and the boat capsized because it hit ship. a rock. The ship was a shipwreck. Ship. You said that. The boat, I'm sorry, the ship capsized because it hit a rock. A rock. Yes. And the captain got off the boat ship. and was trying. Damn, I can't. Say it, my captain. Just tell the damn story. I'm just. Because boat and ships are two different things. You're I'm right. <laughs> okay, so there was a cruise ship that capsized over the weekend. I think it was Friday. Because the captain of this cruise ship decided that he wanted to go miles off course because of one of his first officers was from a certain island. And since he did it before with this same ship, because there's video proof to show that he did this before, so that the family of this officer can wave to him as they sail on by. Now, unbeknownst to the people on board this ship, the passengers that is, this island is surrounded by little other tiny islands and it's also surrounded by a lot of what I like to I call them icebergs slash rocks because you know the biggest part of an iceberg is under the water you didn't know that right I didn't know that yeah yeah it's because an iceberg is huge when you look at it above the water but under the water is the deadliest part that's the part that sank the Titanic the underwater part mm. I know more than just. Well, bitch, you better just tell it. But anyway, so and not only that, 
some people also didn't know that not all waters are to be sailed in by boats or ships. And this particular area of water was too shallow for a, a ship that size to even be sailing in. You see what I'm saying? So it was inevitable that eventually they were going to hit something. And it did. And it happened in the middle of the night. So, of course, naturally, this ship ran to a, a large rock, underwater rock, and it started to sink, but it started to turn over on its side. Kind of reminded you of the Poseidon Adventures, if any of you have ever seen that movie. But on the Poseidon Adventures, the ship turned all the way over, upside down. But anyway, um, and so the captain of the ship decided that, oh, no, I got to go. So him and a few of his crew members made their way off the ship and onto land. And it was only when he got to land did he decide to call for help. Now, CNN, because you know I love me some Anderson Cooper, he dedicated at least a good 20 to 30 minutes on this whole story last night, and I got to watch it because I really didn't know too much about it. The captain called in for help, and the person that he was talking to to help him read him his <laughs> rights over that phone. Told him, why are you not with the ship? You need to get back on that ship and help those people out. First That's of all, that important. phone conversation, the captain gave him like three different excuses. Mm -hmm. First, he said that he was the last one off the ship. Then he said there was over 100 people that he thought were still left on the ship. Then he said that when the ship hit the rock, him and his crew were thrown off the oh, ship. Mm, that is a bit my tongue. I, I, yeah, this, that alone is, is reason enough that he should be in jail. But no, there's more. So he was arrested, he was caught, and he was arrested. And so now I found out today, well last night I found out that he was released from jail and he's now on house arrest. Mm -hmm. While there are still people missing. unaccounted for, and this man is at his home on house arrest. 11 people dead, 24 missing. Did I and miss something? They're saying that most likely they are dead too. Did I? Did I? Well, yes. yeah, they are dead because this happened on Friday and here it is Wednesday. Even if they were in a room that was filled to the top with water and had air in the room, they still are dead because of the hypothermia of the water. You can't be in the water for what four or five days long like that. The, the hypothermia itself. This man should not see the light of day ever again only because and i was on the phone with one of my friends and we were talking about this incident and he asked me why he he didn't understand why and i'm sure he's going to be watching this he didn't understand why there was being there was so much pressure being put on the captain i said first because of all when you are the captain, captain you are the leader you are like the president the and then i also i had to break it down because you know i love my analogies i had to say it's just like if there was a fire in the school the principal can't leave until everyone is out why? Because this is the head of the school. They need to make sure everybody is out before they can get out themselves. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. He is the commander of this ship. He, his, all these thousands of people's lives are in his hand. And if he doesn't like that type of responsibility, then he shouldn't be the captain of the ship. He needs to be a driver of a bus. Okay? Where there's less people to worry about. It's, it's like if you fly on that plane, on the edge of the world, you choose to help everyone get off of that plane. That's right. You. It was sad because last night they showed, this all happened at night. So last night they had an aerial, aerial view, of, view the, of the ship from a helicopter as it was flying over the ship on the side. It was so sad because you know how they had that infrared thing where you could see the people at night? Mm -hmm. You had to see how many people were on the sides of the ship trying to get out. And the ship being as though it was so long that as the helicopter was flying over, it was just like groups of people here, groups of people here, people hanging out the windows waiting for help. I said, I can't even imagine what that must have been like for them to be on a ship that is turned over on its side. And then these people that were inside of the ship, they were, some were recording, this one group of people, they were recording, and as they were recording, the ship started turning over even more, and all you could hear is them screaming and I said, I can't. My heart goes out to all those people who were on that ship. Yeah, there's about 4,000 people on that ship. Yeah, boat. you know. And that's, that is really good that <laughs> I, most of them got, got off, off the ship. And, wow. And, and, but the thing is, they had to really help themselves because a lot of the people who survived said that the crew members really were not fully there. You know, mm -hmm. they really didn't know what to do. Everybody was in a panic. So they basically were helping each other out. This one elderly woman that was on Anderson Cooper last night, she was saying that she had to jump in the water. And she doesn't know how to swim. This woman's in her 70s. Can you imagine having to jump wow. off the side? This is crazy. Like, that guy should be thrown in jail and there should not even be a trial. Just throw him in jail. But you know, everyone is due to a fair trial. Everyone is due to a fair trial. 
But I look at it like this. He was. They call him Captain Coward, and, and you know that's exactly. What I have a is. few. I have a few choice words for him. But this is a new year, and I'm trying not to cuss. I think I cursed a few times in this video already, but I'm trying to limit you it. Better, you better limit it. Rihanna smoking weed, and you know the the talk of her and Chris Brown being back together. Let me say something. If Rihanna and Chris Brown are back together. That's on them. But he just got. Girl, I don't know. He got tattooed. Yeah, I'm about to say, did he, he got his girlfriend, his girl, his K, what's her name? K-Y? K-Y Jelly. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> K-Karo, K-something. K-Y. He got her tattooed on his arm. So, I mean, I don't, no, I don't believe that him and Rihanna are back together at all. They probably fucking. But you know, have you noticed that on their Twitters, every so often the two of them will be tweeting lyrics to different songs. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the heck is going on with these two? They're definitely checking each other's Twitter spaces. Yes. You know that. I, I want to know, what's, I don't know why people make it such a big deal that Rihanna is smoking weed. No, I just Let me tell y'all something. Rihanna, I don't give a damn how media trained she was. She is just gonna do she whatever wants she do. wants to do. And as long as y'all still buying them albums and um, get her number one singles, it's not mm -hmm. going to matter. No, it's not. And I was reading when I saw the pictures of her smoking in her hotel, at her hotel, and wherever she was at. I was reading some of the comments um, on the YBF, and somebody left a comment saying, "Oh, this girl, she just craves for attention. She's doing." And I'm thinking, well, first of all, she's in her hotel resort or wherever. Bungalow, whatever you call it, <laughs> somewhere doing. It's not like she's walking down the street smoking weed. She's in her hotel, in her private area. It was the photographers who caught her doing this. It's not like she called him up and said, "Guess what? I'm about to start smoking weed." I want you to catch me. <laughs> Come on, like it's not. That's not. I guess mm. I don't know. By, I mean, not not by Rihanna, but I'm just saying, like, oh my God, y'all making such a big thing. No. Snoop Dogg smoked more weed than Rihanna has ever yeah. smoked, I don't, and I don't see y'all discussing them smoking. I weed. don't care. I don't care less. I could care less if Rihanna smokes weed. It doesn't make me any bit of difference. Madonna versus the world. Madonna got a new album coming out, and she got a new movie coming out, and she's doing interviews, and she's snatching wigs. And her arms are horrible looking. I don't even think that's cute. I don't, you, this is, I don't that's what I'm going to say for Madonna. Very nasty. I mean, she, she said that, she said what she said about Lady Gaga, but I think that Madonna has worked very hard in this industry where she can have an opinion about anything and anybody. You know, I just feel like she's worked that hard to do, that she could do that and have an opinion on them. Like, I don't think it's bad. What she said about Lady Gaga, she said that those rumors, I mean, you know, her thoughts of her and Lady Gaga is reductive. It's because, you know, Madonna is up, Madonna, I'm not even going to try to do it. Madonna is just way up there. She is way above Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga wants to go where Madonna has gone. Well, Madonna's a legend. I know, yeah. I know. So it's like, but a lot of stuff that Lady Gaga do, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> No, 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 no. Get up out of here. Oh, I'm about to drink this wood. That is the perfect time to get up. I, I had know. a grilled chicken sandwich with cheese, and he shouldn't have yeah. put cheese on it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank God I can't smell. <laughs> so, um, you know, I just think that Madonna, she can say what she want. Lady Gaga, I mean, it's not hard to dispute, I mean, to see that she looks up to Madonna. So if Lady Gaga wants to end those rumors of her and Madonna, then she needs to start doing some more other shit that's not Madonna-like. I just wish that people like them wouldn't beef. You know, but you know, it's, it's so, not even no beef. No, yeah, Madonna. it's not. But I wish that the media wouldn't make it so like that because yeah. you know how... They acting like Madonna was like <clears throat> Lil' Kim. You Oh, you got to pay me homage or some yeah. shit. But you know how, for instance, you know how Beyonce is, every time you know you turn around, she's inspired by someone, <laughs> which is fine. You know, it's fine. Hey, <laughs> do you, B? You still my girl. Mm -hmm. But 
Rarely do you ever hear these rumors of her and the person that she looks up to as far as legend-wise going back and forth. Like, for instance, she actually even performed on stage with Tina Turner, who a lot of people compare her to. I would love to see Madonna and Lady Gaga work together. That or Keisha right. Cole and Mary J. Blige. Or Ciara and Janet Jackson. But every time you turn around with all three of those people, it's like there's something that is hindering them. Like, Mary J. Blige and Keisha Cole, there's like a beef. That seems like it's on Mary J. Blige's part. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know what it is with Janet and Sierra. She wants to put, Janet wants to get a toast to Rihanna. But Rihanna can't fucking dance. No, she doesn't. Does she really? Janet loves Rihanna. Yes, she does. Oh, wow. But I didn't know she wanted to pass the torch well, to Well, I don't know if she wanted to pass it, but that's what I get from it. I think see her and Sierra. You know what? I, you know what? I could go there, but I won't. Because <laughs> I, I got a whole lot of jokes that I could go on with that one thing but i won't i won't but i just think that i would love to see her and janet yeah, that Sarah would, and janet that, that, that would be, be so hot. hot and then lady gaga and madonna even if they i think they would come out with a hot ass music video and then lady gaga being on tour and then call and then madonna pop out do a beyonce move and pop out from under the stage and just it, that would be epic but it's like every time you turn around these particular legends and new school artists are just bickering back and forth. I'm glad my girl and Tina Turner didn't have that going on, that they were able actually to get on stage and perform together. I just wish that would be the same thing for the rest of them, because I would love to see Mary J. Blige and Keisha Coles together, even though it probably hurt my ears. I would love to see it. But Madonna got, right now, Madonna got to do whatever she got to do to keep her name popping. Her and Elton John done went through some shit, mm -hmm. but Elton John started that shit with Madonna, talking about, um, he laughed off the claims that she was going to win a Golden Globe. Oh, yeah, that was on the Then she ended then up she winning. Won. And his face was yes. a sour. Yeah, you can't do no shit like that. No. That, first of all, where is the respect? Yeah. Respect the artist, you know? You're not, you're acting like you're not beatable. Everyone mm -hmm. is defeatable. Yeah. Not unless you're guy. Other than that, shut the hell up. Yeah, I think Elton John was a little off by that. I think Elton John is one of those people that he, I think... Him and Aretha Franklin have that same syndrome. <laughs> you know why? Because I was watching the interview that Aretha Franklin did with Wendy Williams last year, mm -hmm. just to get a kiki key key from it. And I watched it again on YouTube today. And there was a part of the interview when Wendy asked Aretha, so who do you think is, you know, you'll always be the queen of soul, Aretha, but who do you think is the next queen of soul? She said Aretha. Mm -hmm. Aretha. And I'm thinking like, come on, like, okay, we understand that you are the queen of soul, That's but right. who... Come on, be that's, fair. That's Who's going to come out and who do you think can be the next act? And she wouldn't even give a name, you know? Because I'm telling you, when you a diva and you own it, like... Yeah, but I mean, I understand, I understand that Aretha Franklin, there will never be another Aretha Franklin, just like there will never be another Whitney Houston. There will never be another one of those. But the question was, because Wendy... <laughs> You know, I, I, I have to give Wendy yeah. Williams her props. Wendy Williams let her know that you'll always be the queen of soul. But who do you think will be the next person after you? And she couldn't even... Nope. Nobody. It me. It's going to be... It's like, like, come on. Like, she, think, she thinks it's either Jennifer Hudson or Fanti. Well, it would have been nice if she said that, mm -hmm. but she didn't say that. And yeah. it's just like with Elton John. Like, Elton John, you have this whole diva attitude as if... You're the biggest Ooh. queen out there. It's like and no, then her, no queen and then her husband went off yeah, her husband. on Facebook. Elton like, John's husband. Yes. Well, <laughs> I'm just know saying. Because I know people probably say her husband. Oh, I ain't no Madonna's married. I'm talking okay. about Elton's husband. Yes. You're talking about Elton's husband. He his went his off husband, husband and his wife. Look, I don't know who went to cancel that relationship. <laughs> I don't. Well, Elton ain't no damn top. Hey, but then <laughs> you see his husband? I, I don't know if he's the top. Well, I don't. You know what? Elton ain't even get it up. Uh, you know what? Let's say this. Let me mind my business. We'll change the subject before Elton John be pulling this oh, video. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Lady Gaga was off. with them, too? Uh -uh. <laughs> um, the Khloe Kardashian rumor. Oh, my God. It was so big last week that Khloe is not a Kardashian. You know where it came from, right? It came from with Robert Kardashian's ex-wife. But let me tell you something. I think all of them are in cahoots with each other because you know the, the Kardashian's name has always got to be in the news if it ain't Kim and Chloe taking over New York it's something going on in Miami or Rob Kardashian on the damn Dancing with the Stars Kim Kardashian's wedding Kim Kardashian's divorce Kim and Chloe takes New York 
Now ain't nobody talking about none of that shit. We got to get the names back in there. So let's say Chloe was never a Kardashian. And, you know, that's what's keeping them in the news. Because, you know, you know, uh, what's her name? Chris Jenner already had an interview set up and everything. Them women are smart and they know what the fuck, what, they know what they're doing. Let me just say, they're not stupid. So that think, woman, so that is think, made up. Okay. They paid, they paid the ex-wife to get out there and say something. Because who was she? And why is she just now all of a sudden coming out the blue? Why is she ain't saying... Was it ex-wife or ex-mistress? It was two of them. What, I, I said it was two, You know what? One. I don't know. Whatever the case may be, Chloe is a Kardashian. She wears that last name. Chloe she didn't have it forever. First of all, she looks like all of them. No, it wasn't... Yeah, it was... It was a, that... The father wasn't her father. That was what it was. Yeah, the, yeah. He, he had doubts. Whatever. I don't care. He, she is still a Kardashian, and they made it up just to keep their name out there. Now what? Chloe, Chloe's trying to get pregnant with Lamar, or something like that. For, uh, going to the clinic, like they, they know how to keep their name out there. And I ain't stupid. I ain't falling for it. I'm not. Well, isn't that what you do when you're trying to make money? Well, you gotta keep your name out yeah. there. Shit. I mean, that's what you do. Shit, we, you know, we need to start keeping our names out there. Have a fake fight, you know? People are like, oh my God, no, y'all can't break up. No, y'all can't do it. Well, no, no, no. And then, we like, bitch, we was only playing. Well, you I mean, I don't think girls. we need to do it that much since we have people making videos about <laughs> us saying how much they don't like us and how they can't stand yes. us. I mean, they're yeah. doing it for us. Let's just sit back and let them do it. Hey. You said you, you want to talk about porn stars leaving the Hollywood. Oh, yeah. So today on the radio, as I was at work listening to the radio, I heard that there are, uh, there's this like big debate over in Hollywood that a lot of the porn actors are threatening to leave, to move the industry from Hollywood and take it somewhere else if they are forced to wear condoms during their scenes. Because apparently there's like this porn law enforcement that's going to be coming around to the set and making sure that the, the, the actors, as they are called, are wearing condoms. Mm -hmm. Now, this is my thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is my thing. Ooh, I, I actually want ahead. to bring up what one of my friends uh, responded to on Facebook. Because I didn't, I, didn't, um, mention, I didn't say anything back to him. Even though I understood where he was coming from because... Um, I understood where he was coming from, but I, I don't agree with it. Mm -hmm. This is my thing. I feel as though it's it's a, it's like it's an it's a responsibility for porn actors to wear condoms. Now, granted, I don't see condoms being worn that often this during porn, rare. and when you do see it, you definitely notice it because mm -hmm. it's very rare to see. So you do notice it. I just think that if someone is going around and saying, look, you guys should be a little bit more responsible and a little bit more aware and just be safe for your own selves. Wear condoms. I don't think that should be a big deal or a big issue, especially if somebody's looking out for your safety and well-being. Now, I was told that a lot of actors who don't wear condoms get paid more. Well, then that must be the whole damn industry because don't nobody wear condoms. That's how I look at it. Now, one of my friends, when I posted this on Facebook, he left a response by saying, Is this frozen? This thing just froze on me. Mm. I'm sorry. Well, go ahead, tell me. Do you know about you... verbatim? No, I don't. If I did, I wouldn't be looking at this. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead, tell me how you think about this. What I think about it is they are adults. As long as they are consenting to having sex on camera and getting paid for it, I don't think it's anybody's issue because that's their life. If they want to go out there and have sex with no condom, let them go ahead and do it. You already doing the, uh, making them have uh, uh, HIV tests and uh, what's the other, what you call it? Just STDs tests and everything. But how often are those tests required? I think they are done every three months. So they're supposed to be done every three months. So if they're doing them and they are clean, let them go ahead and do what the hell they want to do. That's how I feel about it. Okay, um, my friend, he left a comment saying that porn is a fantasy and pretty much role play. And when you think of your fantasy, you never think of condoms or even the thought of you catching something. And then he said, I'm just, I'm not saying they shouldn't get tested regularly, but I don't think they should be forced to wear condoms. This is what he said on left the uh, comment. From I don't think they should be forced to wear condoms either, but I do think it's a little 
immature for you to say, well, if we are forced to wear condoms, then we're going to leave, take the industry elsewhere. I just think that you sh they should be a little bit more appreciative that there are people out there looking, looking out, out for their, their well-being rather girl. than saying, oh, well, if you make me do this, I'm not going to do this anymore. I mean, you're right. You're definitely right. They are grown and it's their choice. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, don't throw your up, arms up in the air because somebody's actually looking out for your well-being. I mean, it, you, you never know. People who watch porn, because there's a lot of people who like porn and watch it, they may see you wearing a condom and may say to themselves, I gotta remember that I gotta wear a condom too, because, you know, some people do I'm that. Sorry. Just like, no, listen, <laughs> listen, just like some people, I'm not, I'm not gonna say no names, but when some people watch porn or when they started out watching porn, they would watch porn to learn and to learn and know what to do so that when it was time for them to do it, they would know what to do. They may not have been good at it, but hell, practice makes perfect. You never know. Some people, I, no, when I first something. started watching porn, I didn't know what I was doing when it came to sex. I mean, it turned me on, but at the same time, I felt as though, oh, this is what, you, this is what makes somebody feel good. And don't, don't act like. You ain't never had sex with somebody and you thought in the back of my mind, oh, this is what so-and-so did in that portal, so let me do it and see if it worked. I've done that before. You never did that before? I want to know how many of y'all have done what I just said. You've seen a porno and you saw your favorite porn star do it, so you said, okay, I want to um, do it. <laughs> I don't want to be too loud. <laughs> uh, uh, um, basically, I just... Oh, so oh, you're a pro. Nah, you know what you're doing. Nah, nah, bro. Oh, good. But, oh, don't say, oh, good. Ah. Ain't nobody ever tell me I've been horrible. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I don't even want to have that yeah, no. But anyway, when you watch a porno, well, me, I'm not watching, oh, let me learn out this technique right here. No. No, it's to get. Yeah, it is. It is to get. No, it is. I agree with you. But at the same time, don't. I mean, it's the, it's you may the, see something in a porn it's that... It's be stimulated while, you know... Yeah, I understand that. But you may see something in a porn that you'd be like, Oh, wow. I never saw some nobody do that. I've never... I have. And I'm not even gonna lie. I have. And there's a few times that I've done a few things that I've seen on the porn <laughs> just to see if it'll work. Sometimes it worked. Mm. And sometimes it didn't. But that's the whole point of you... Practice makes perfect. Yeah, it does. And so, but what I'm saying is, you know, look, if they want to go out there and risk their lives and not use condoms, then let that be on them. Well, look, I have a few favorite porn stars, and I would be, I would a hate lot of them to find out if they had something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you, a lot of them, a lot of them gay ones, child, just pray. But see, that's and that's I'm another saying. reason why. This, and see, that's see, another I even know see, I didn't want to go. See, I didn't, I didn't want to go with the gay industry. I wanted to do it as a porn as a whole. Mm. But see, that's another reason why I think it's a good thing that these enforcers are enforcing them to use condoms because you there are a lot of porn stars, gay porn stars out there who just don't give a f. You see what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying. How do we know it's on a regular basis, especially with some of these amateur porns out there? Can I be honest? Because you think somebody who's doing an amateur porn is going to ask somebody if you've been tested lately. No. I doubt that. No. That's what I'm saying. It's it's no. good that they are out here trying to make sure that these people are being safe and protected. It's not, I can see, it's one thing if they're telling them you can't do porn at all. That's not what they're saying. They're saying you can do it, but just be safe about it. I want to know. I really want to know. And I think we got to get some porn stars on here. Because I want to know. What makes you want to be a porn star besides, you know, like being a real actor? Like, what makes you, well, because you are an actor when you have sex, but what makes you want to have sex on camera? Like, what makes you want to do that? Well, so I want to know because I just want to know. I think, I think, well, I'm not, I can't speak because I've never done porn. Thank God. But that's not to say I haven't been recorded. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, I'm just so. Oh, no, that video was destroyed. But anyway, mm. I think that a lot of people who do it, I think a lot of people are uh, not all of them, because I don't, I don't want any of y'all to think that I'm saying all. But I think some of the porn stars who do it are attention whores, and they like the attention on them, and they like, especially if they're nice looking, if they have a nice body, and they are really sexual, and so they like that attention. They like for somebody to hit them up. Because let me tell you something. Time and time again on Twitter, 
a lot of these people on Twitter treat these porn stars as if they were Denzel Washington or Angelina Jolie. Like they treat them as if they are so <laughs> big, you know. And so I think a lot of them flock to that attention and say, "Oh, look how they treat me!" Like I'm, but all I'm doing is having sex on camera. I mean, but hey, you gotta and you. Those days on X2, uh, let's just say you, that ain't what I, I liked. It's just, yeah. You did just, it and you were yeah, young. Yeah, you were I was young. young and then I said, oh, hell no. My, I had way better talents than that. And look at where I am now, Yes, basically. You don't have to do that. So I just want to, like, because like, I'm not the one for the face, like, how do you get that nerve to do it? I don't know. Or letting them do that. And then, and then it's just one old girl. It's one of them. I mean, you know who I'm talking about. They're like, oh, I'm just in the kitchen. I'm in the tub. I mean, they face full out. I'm in the living room. Who? On X2 or on, on porn? porn? Like, how do you... I don't know who you're talking about. Hold on. No, tell me. Why don't you say hit you up? Yes. Wait, which, so, which you say the name was again? Because that's not the name that I remember. Um, Sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let me type it. Remember I told you was using cucumbers and everything. Girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean. Yeah. I, you know, I but just. You don't have to. Those, oh, girl. So young. But I think it comes from a lot of attention. Like they like they like the they like the attention. They like the attention so they flock to it. Just like some people will say, Well, why do you do YouTube? You do YouTube to be informative and to but you I also like the I attention. Yeah. You like the attention. We all like the attention. Yeah. But I don't do it for the attention. No, I you want you to do it for the attention. But I mean, I want you to watch and hear what the hell I have to say. But it would be nice to have a porn star on our show. Yes, and and uh what's his name? Kevin. Uh, Oh, he's the porn star. Yeah. He wants to come on the show. His name is yeah. his porn name is you all know Venom. Yeah. Yeah, that's his porn name, but his real name is Kevin. Mm -hmm. But he wants to come on the Scorpion show. Mm -hmm. He actually did an interview with me. Did you know that? Yes. Did you see it? It was terrible. It was. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. But shout out to mm -hmm. Kevin. It was it was terrible in the sense that it was his first time doing it. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So I mean, I'm sure our first interview was terrible. So, I mean, it's no shade to him. I mean, yeah. you know, I'm sure he'll probably look back on it and say, yeah, this was terrible. But, I mean, it was, he was nervous. He's a nice guy. Though. He's a very nice guy. He's a very nice guy. And I would love for him to come on the show because he's a very nice guy. Yeah, I seen him when I was getting my hair cut at the um, barbershop. He told me. He's he was, actually n not like he is on porn. Like, I don't he get. He do it no more? No, no, I didn't say that. Oh. <laughs> I didn't say that. Because I think him and Trap Boy were saying how they just did something recently. Trap Boy. I don't know. Boy, oh, I know. I That's who I want to get on the show. <laughs> That's who I want to get on the show. Because he, how do you just he is very, 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 very out there. And I would love to get him on the show because he's out there. Mm. He's out there. You know what I mean? He don't give up. Damn! He don't give a damn. He got the he don't best give it videos <laughs> that I've seen in a long time. But anyway, back to Kevin. Between him and Remy. <laughs> back to, I don't know what's going on. Back to Kevin. On. Okay. I think Kevin. <laughs> no, when I'm involved with Kevin, I said, I, when I when you you all know him as Venom. Mm -hmm. When you see him in person, he's very quiet and very like you know shy, like mm -hmm. you know, and you would never think that that's somebody who does porn. Yeah. But. I don't know, but it's a lot of, but I mean, let me tell y'all something though. A lot of these porn stars, if y'all out there fucking on camera, y'all gotta look way better than what y'all do in person. I am sorry. Y'all really do. And that's okay. all, that's how we gonna all end it. Because Mikel know what I'm talking I about. I do know. But he ain't gonna co-sign. I ain't gonna co-sign. I'm gonna keep my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, there, yes. I don't know if any of you have heard about this McDonald's here in Philadelphia. <laughs> So apparently, one of the employees at McDonald's was complaining to his boss, one he of his probably managers. probably got fired and tried to get them. He probably was. He probably did get fired. But hey, I mean, yeah. you know. I'm he sure he can sue. For what? Sell. Well, if he got fired for, for no reason, that's if he got fired. We don't know if he got fired. He definitely don't work there now. I'm who, sure. the one who recorded it? Huh? Yeah, I'm sure. But why would you want to work there? Especially if they're doing something nasty like that. I wouldn't mm. want to work there. But anyway, there's a McDonald's here in Philadelphia. Mm. 
One of the employees was complaining to his boss that every so often when he would come into work or, you know, to go prepare the food and everything, and the bag that holds the hamburger buns, it would be little holes and it would be bite marks and even mice droppings inside of the bags or around the area, indicating that there were mice that were getting into the bag mm -hmm. of buns. And so his boss, his manager, I don't know if it was more than one or just this particular manager, would tell him, oh, just wipe the poop up and take the buns that are bitten up, take those buns and throw them in the trash and still use the rest of the buns that's in the bag. Disgusting at, at its best. So now what this guy decided to do is he decided to catch this whole action on film. And so while he was at work one day, he recorded a mouse inside of the hamburger bag bun, you know, just running back and forth. And so he caught it all on film and I guess he uploaded it to the internet or whatever the case may be. Now here in Philadelphia, it's been all on the news. They're talking about all on the radio. I don't know what happened to this guy. I don't know if he still works there. I would not want to still work there. I think, I think he is in somewhat a hero because this type of stuff gets people sick. To have a mouse running all around your food like that and you don't know it and you're eating it. That can get people sick. Like mice carry all types of disease and things like that. And for the manager to just say, oh, take the buns that have been bitten up and throw those in the trash and use the rest of them as if this mouse was not in this bag on this food. That's what, that's what I'm saying. That don't sound right. And let me tell you something. I work with the manager that's in that damn video. I've worked with her before. And that's not even protocol to do. If a mouse, because you know it is mice that do be in stuff. But if they get in that bag, you have to throw that whole bag away as waste. But if they didn't get in the other bags, then it's fine. No, no, no. But, no, I, no, I, no. but I, know, I know, but I'm just saying that that don't even... What, what he's saying, it doesn't sound right. It may not sound right. It may but not it, sound it right. Be, but but there are some yeah. nasty people out there. Let me okay. tell you, there are people, drop shit yeah, people right who will back. drop I'm something so and pick it up. My mom was in a restaurant that is around the corner from our house once. She was getting her food made. My mom and dad, including me now, they have a habit that when they are at the restaurant and you can see the people cooking their food, they'll stand there and watch them make their food. Some people don't, but my mom and dad have the habit of doing that. My mom sat there and watched this guy, and to this day, he still works in there too, watch this guy as he's making her food Touch his nose. Dig in his nose, Girl. Go, just like this, and wipe it on his apron and was still making the food. Didn't even bother to wash his hands or didn't even think that maybe somebody's standing and watching him. That's how nasty people are. So even though that his story may not be 100% true about what he's saying that the manager said, but I don't doubt it because there are some people like that, especially if they know that nobody has seen it and nobody knows about it. Well, ain't nobody see it. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody back here, so I'll just throw these away and keep the rest. What you don't know won't hurt you. You see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying, but at the same time, it does happen. People do do it. Yeah, all the time. And I think that it's very commendable that he called them out on it and recorded it. Because you never know. Come on now. I don't want to go to McDonald's and have to worry about was a mouse running back and forth on this hamburger bun that I'm about to put in my mouth. Well, maybe um, that's disgusting. Maybe, maybe this McDonald's and maybe in Philadelphia, like I, when I go to other cities, they all have their little restaurant grades and everything. Maybe these restaurants they need to start doing that here, putting up a grade in every window and you telling know, you yeah what, what was inspected, what they passed, what you, they didn't pass. You're absolutely right. You're I right. Think they really do need to. You're do right because they put the calories and stuff near the food now. Yep. They need to put it in the grade next to the window when the inspectors come. What did this McDonald's get? Did they get an A, a B, a C, a D, or an E, or an F? And, and then, if they did get those grades, they need to say why it is that they got this And then the health inspection places that they fell a, a couple of stuff. And they fell on a couple of stuff that this McDonald's should not be not open. Not even be open. Why is it still open? It's disgusting. And this McDonald's is not too far from my house. No, I know. It's not too far from my house at all. So it's really shocking to me that, that first of all, I don't even eat from McDonald's, mm -hmm. except for when I was getting breakfast food from them. But as far as a burger and fr I don't know. But I would hate to know that a mice done crawl over my yeah, food like or something that's like disgusting. that. disgusting. Like, that's but really disgusting. I've that's never disgusting. got, I see every time I say I never or something, but I've, I've never got sick from eating food. You know Thank what I God. think? I don't understand, you know, I understand that these fast food places are limited with space, but I just don't understand 
why it is because I, I get this from my mom I do I thank God that she does this I just don't understand why people leave food and stuff out even if it is wrapped up in a plastic bag they need to have some type of storage refrigerator or something like that that you can hold this food in so that nothing can get into it because when you do go to say for instance at night if you're driving past a McDonald's or a Wendy's sometimes if you look in the windows you can see like the buns and stuff that have been delivered overnight sitting on the counters and stuff that's an opportunity for anything to crawl in it it may be in a closed bag but mice can chew through plastic bags that stuff needs to be put in like a refrigerator or something that can't nothing get inside of you see what I'm saying? And I, I, I understand that these places are limited, but maybe they need to start making them, building them bigger so that they can hold, so that when you go into McDonald's at night or when you leave at night, there is no type of food products out. None, none at all. And everything should be wiped down with bleach. But why? It should be fucking exterminated. Like, everything should be clean. It should be exterminated, should be but you, we all know that after a certain amount of time, the bugs and the mice come back. So you have, but... You gotta you stay know, up on You do have a restaurant. restaurant. But you know, your I idea like. is a very good idea, and you never know. Somebody may vex watch this video and hear what you have to say and do it. Because I think every fast food restaurant, every restaurant that people go in to sit down in, should have a grade at the front door letting you know each month or whenever they do their grades what this restaurant, what type of inspection grade this restaurant has and why it has it. Because it would keep them on it. It would keep them on their toes. <laughs> now, that is something that con Congress should be looking into rather than. Try to stop YouTube. <laughs> um, Ted Williams. Yeah, Ted Williams, uh, the man <laughs> with the golden voice. I had to find this video because I was wondering what he was doing. I hit Google and I seen that um, he, he is working with him. Um, they had their producers work with him on getting his life together. And he's, he fell two times getting clean, but now he's clean. He still works with Kraft. He has a condo. He has a girlfriend. That's he thanks God. He's appreciative for everything. And you know, I'm really, really happy for him. And people like Wendy Williams that say he was going to relapse and you know, look at him now, Wendy. You said you'll give him a year and look at him now. A year so, later, he's doing good. Yeah, he's doing real good and I'm happy for him. Well, did he, didn't you just say he did relapse? No, he did, two times, like they said that in the interview, but now he's doing fine. Okay, well, he's no, doing I good. guess when he was right. I mean, but but I'm talking about like- he In the sense that he was going to go back and never change yeah. his life for him. Well, I mean, Wendy kind of knows what it is. She's, been, she's there. been there, yeah. so she knows. I mean, but rather than saying that, you know, it's good that he is back on his feet again. You know, it's good that he's back on his feet again. We should encourage people instead yeah. of putting them down. I but guess. we all know the type of person that Wendy Williams is. <laughs> like I said, like I said before, I wish I could get paid that much money for being like that. Yeah, she is just reading off them tabloids now, girl. You better do it. She's reading off this. Did you see that fake star interview that Beyonce supposedly did with Star Magazine? Yeah, did she even? She talked about that on her show. She don't. She don't care no more. She just don't care no more. She just don't care. When no I seen that, it said Star. I said <laughs> that's it. I did. It's just Wendy Williams <laughs> just don't care no more. Wendy Williams will pick up a magazine and read something from it, mm -hmm. and then give her own little spin and twist on it. And that'll be her show. And people love it. All she gotta do is say, well, according to the YBS. <laughs> according to the YBS. Well, according to Boss of Girl. According to the media, media takeout. <laughs> that's all she does. Mm. And that is it. Mm. That is it. And that and, and with that, she's making all that money. Yes. Is that something? I need to tell God is working in her favor. Can I just <laughs> say he definitely is. I love Big Ange now. <laughs> I really love her. Big Ange is really a woman. Yeah. She has a son. <laughs> but <laughs> I just love her. I don't know why. And then she be like, <laughs> that's how she be like, like she'll say like that's, that's, that's a three cents cigarette smoke. That's a, that's a cigarette smoker's <laughs> laugh. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to go on a date because I love men. <laughs> well, I guess she does. She looks like a man. I Stop it. Know. I love her. She just, she's like, I'm tired of the bullshit. I'm sitting these bitches down. We gonna come to the end of this. And you know, um, Renee and Drew, no, what's her name? Karen. No, Carla. The, the Carla, they they cool now. It's just that sometimes you had them people that you just fight with on a regular, but it's not because you, you can't stand them. It's just sometimes you need a break from these motherfuckers. And then after your break, you know, you'll realize that your your fight was just so damn small and ridiculous, but 
How many times do y'all get to a point where it has to come like this? Y'all stop talking and you think it's serious and then it's not. That need that y'all need to let that go. Sometimes you just need a break and just say, you know what, I need a break. I think you're speaking on some of our past experiences. Yeah. But, but we never had a breakup like no, that. No, we never did. But there were times where you got on my nerves. Okay. And I'm sure there's times when I got on your nerves. Mm -hmm. Still do from time to time. But hey, that's alright. It ain't that bad. It's not, no. Yeah, it's not that bad where I would ever say, oh, Kevin, F you, F you, F you. <laughs> that is it. I mean, you can get to that point one time. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. But yeah, I see what you're saying. Big Ange is a mediator. Yeah. I just think that maybe she needs to learn how to do it the right way rather than the, the way that she did over it. Over cocktails and yeah, drinks. Over cocktails and drinks. Do it when everybody's sober, Ange. Okay. Um, Housewives of Atlanta. I missed it. I didn't watch it. I didn't really watch. I mean, I watched it, but I really wasn't paying attention until they got to the part where they were at the dinner table with Candy, Miss Joyce, when they all were at the table together. Kim, mm -hmm. Nene, Cynthia, and her bang and ponytail. <laughs> that needs a seat of the time. And Miss Joyce, you know, she, God bless her, because, you know, her heart's in the right place. Mm -hmm. Her heart is in the right place. But I think that Miss Joyce trying to get Nene and Kim to become friends again and to talk again, you know, her making that whole statement, you know, when I'm around, I want y'all to speak to, to each other. Ah, 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 ah. Don't even go there. Nene and Kim are grown. Their argument may, may be very petty. I don't even remember why they were arguing or whatever the case may be. But let them as grown women decide for themselves if they want to continue their friendship or not. Miss Joyce, in no way, shape, or form, doesn't matter how cool they were in the past. Sometimes people grow apart, and clearly <coughs> Kim and Nene have grown apart. They are both happy apart from each other, so let it be. Don't take it upon yourself to throw a dinner and then say, Oh, I think that when I'm around, y'all should speak to each other. And who are you again? Because mm. you are not Kim's mother, you're not Nene's mother, you were Candy's mother. So, Miss Joyce, on that, I think you were way out of line, and I agree with Nene, which is very rare. You were definitely out of line. Um, uh, Ms. Joyce also said something at the dinner table that struck a chord with me that reminded me of one of our Scorpion Show videos. Well, a few of our Scorpion Show videos where I said, and you and I both have said, that Ms. Joyce needs to stop hanging around Candy and find her own damn friends. Well, at the dinner table, she says, yeah, because, you know, a lot of people think that I just rip and run with Candy and, you know, no, we don't hang around each other like that. You gonna say that, that is a lie, okay? <laughs> That's a lie. You oh, do rip and run with her. You Look. go everywhere with her. I don't think I hang around. You know, we just... You know, Everybody had her mom with her. Like Ashanti have her mom, Beyonce have her mom, Candy have her mom. Yep. You know, Phaedra takes Apollo everywhere. <laughs> Nene takes Greg everywhere. No, she, she ain't don't. saying she ain't saying it, but Tom Greg's so fucking. <laughs> Girl bye. Wow. You want us to think you and that white man is together? Girl bye. That ain't wow. happening, Captain. Wow. She ain't even Greg. She is not even Greg. They just want us to believe her and Greg ain't together. Oh. I don't believe it. I don't know. I don't even care who she's sleeping with. Hmm. But you know, Miss Candy, I mean Miss Candy, this is my thing, okay, you can't make them talk or whatever, but I think that Nene and Kim miss each other. Yeah, they and, and you know what, this new Nene going on, like she, she is, she she's is. trying to speak proper, well, I, I can't I, take I, it. I, I, I just can't believe, and, and that's what she said, and uh, who does she think she's talking to? Like, like, uh, I'm like did you see her on Watch What Happens yeah, Live? I did, and I never oh watched Watch What Happens Live. She and was she so, was just like so... I didn't find that appropriate. Did you see my tweet? I was like, whoever Nene's acting coach is, is the best in the biz. Mm -hmm. Because he or she got her acting to a tape. Oh, I she didn't is watch acting three. a plum fool. Uh -oh. She is just like, oh, oh, I, I'll pass. Oh, she was like, kind of boring on Sunday. I just couldn't believe it. Nene she was boring. Was just like really then she, I watched her on uh, Rosie O'Donnell. But I, I was not going to watch her on Glee. When I seen the um, 10 second clip on Wendy Williams yesterday. I heard that she wasn't even on there that long. I said, oh God, she's just being Nene. That's all. She's just on 10 seconds. But you know, I'm really happy for her. She's doing her thing. She is. But I can't picture her with her own she show. She no. Uh, but maybe she can host a show, like a game show or something. But Nene... She can host something where it involves being fake. Mmm, girl, you tried it. It, it does. Like a modeling competition or something where people are trying to compete for something. Because she's very, very fake. Mm. She's not the same Nene that she was mm -hmm. a few seasons ago. She's now proper and prim and she's classy. She got a few Louboutins in her closet, so now she's the hot stuff in town. Mm. But she's definitely, maybe she's trying to change over a new leaf for 2012, but definitely just, not the same Nene that we saw in love with. No, mm -hmm. she's, she's a whole nother new 
Nini. Mm. She's I've kind of missed the loud ghetto Nini because this cl this classy and proper Nini is so not her. Well, who wants her to be loud all the time? Nobody wants her to be loud all the time. But then I don't want you to be fake either. Yeah, I you gotta keep it real. You. you gotta yeah, keep it in the middle yeah. or somewhere. Yeah, I mean I don't want her to be loud and ghetto, but I don't want her to be fake. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be fake. You don't have to be fake, and that's what she's doing. She's just too fake now. She's oh 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 I, oh oh. I can just run with the best of them. Yeah, I like the best of who? Like who can you run with me? Nini, you were a stripper. Mm. She's one of those people that she'll try her hardest and damnedest to forget her past. And I don't like people like that. You see what I'm saying? Because you know, even if your past, even if you didn't have the best past in the world, don't forget it because your past got you to where you are today. Mm -hmm. Had it not been for your past, you would not be here today. Okay? And I'm not saying that you, you stripping is the best thing in the world, but you once were a stripper. And the way she treated that guy who was sucking his own penis as if, oh, how dare he be, how dare a stripper be here. Like, maybe you did the same thing that he was doing. Isn't that how you and your husband met? Mm. Oh, okay. I read that book and I will read it again and you. You read her book? No, I'm saying oh, I, I was about to say. Talk. Never make the I same mistakes shade. twice. I was throwing shit. Oh, okay. I'm about to say, bitch, I read the book. I'm just saying, Nene, you you need to be a little bit more, just be a little bit more relatable. Don't be all classy because she's 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 showing out for those Atlanta queens or those other queens out there who think everything is just everybody's just so classy. Those people who like to live that whole classy life, but that's not you. That's not you. That wasn't you a year or two ago, and it's not really you today. It's you're acting like that because you see her acting like that. So stop acting like you're so prim and proper. You're not prim and proper. You're the same queen that you you're the same queen that you were two or three years ago. Now all of a sudden you see Nene acting like she's so classy. So now you want to be classy. Oh, I want to be classy because I see Nene. But who are you classy. talking about now? No, I'm just saying that's how queens are. Oh my like gay girl. What you think my I was talking about? My mind is girl. I don't know. Take those damn glasses off. No, I can't because I told Courtney I was gonna wear the whole video. Is it whose are they? Are they yours or his? They're mine. Oh, where'd you buy them from? Urban Outfitters. I, I got this from there too. Who picked that up for you? What the glasses? Courtney. I don't like those glasses. He picked. He picked these and this. I could. You know the glasses that I wear on the show? No. The ones that I wear. Don't say no, cause I always wear them. What about them? I got those from Urban Outfitters. No. Those are cute, and they look more cute. I don't like those on me. I like these on me though. I don't like them. That's all right. We all got that front. You're right. Love and hip hop. I could have found you some cute ones though. Probably some. Saying. Yeah. I can buy you some. All right. When you go next time, make sure you get me out of here. I will because you know, in the past you told <laughs> me, oh, oh no, you dress your way and I dress my way. You don't. I was like, okay, yeah. all right, fine. I wasn't trying to be smart. I was just saying, you know. And then all of a sudden, you run down to Atlanta, and now everybody's styling you and stuff. Well, but when I tried to help you, <laughs> oh no, I don't want your help. Oh no. He did not style me. He just said, I think that you should get this shirt. No, you told in the beginning of this video, you said he styled me. Well, that's the same thing. <laughs> all right, so then why would you? Just, but you know, I don't want to say like he styled me like real. Yes, he's like, oh, you should wear that piece and that piece. And they just, you know, so if I buy a shirt for you. Uh, this weekend, and I think it's really, really cute. I'll wear, wear it. Yes. I'll what if wear I wear buy it. a pair of jeans for you? If I can fit it, and you know you yeah. can't get my size in her mouth. <laughs> no, I can't. Shut but up. I can find somewhere. Anyway, and buy some cute sneakers or some cute boots. Well, it looks so different with them. These. How about some cute boots? If I buy some cute. No, I ain't buying them. No, don't buy me boots because I probably would not wear them because oh. I wouldn't wear those. But these are cute. They're nice, but they're not. They don't say Kevin. They you don't. gotta buy. You gotta buy me something that says Kevin. When I look that at that says the, Kevin. Yeah, like when you oh, look no, at Oh no, cause I don't go on no When you look at no bitch, I don't <laughs> go there no more like that neither. I love that stuff, but it's like when, once I start wearing Express and then start wearing O'Neill again, I'm like, ooh, the quality is so different. Like you can feel the difference in the cloth. But when well, I walk past for underwear and socks. When I walk past the um this rack and urban outfitters, I said all of these hats are so Mikael. I said, all of this is Mikael, and I know that bitch but she was here right now. This is all Mikael. Remember when you were, where were you at? You were out of town. Yeah. And you texted me a picture or you tweeted it and, and said, said, this is so Mikael. 
shirt. And I said, oh, I already got it. And I showed it. And I already had the shirt. Yeah. See? So I know you. I know your style a little bit. You know. But uh, can we talk about love and hip hop? Oh. I just want to say, Yandy, you are, I got to get, girl, I'm going to get these girls together. Yandy, you are doing too motherfucking much. You are. If you can work with Jim Jones, okay, the problem is you need to know when to be friends and, and when to be business, business partners. Partner. You need to be more business partner than friends because it's not going to work with you and Chrissy. Yes. Chrissy is a jealous woman. Uh, she do not like anyone working around or under Jim. Jim mm -hmm. Okay? So... You need to let it go. He's not going to leave his woman for you. All of that friendship <laughs> stuff and your and advice. And my brother. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mona read her her right. Yes. Mona, Mona told her, went, why, would you, uh, you know, why would you even comment on an email about her? Why would you even comment on what he's getting his girlfriend? That's, yeah. She had nothing, and then she tried to justify it, but no. As long you as you're still getting your check, don't worry about where his money is going. Yeah. Now, if he started spending... Yeah, your money, money on her. Oh, right. <laughs> then you start. Then you. Yes. Then you start saying something. Chrissy. Chrissy is the type of woman <laughs> that want yes women, women around, around her. her. Yeah. Like what, Olivia? You you told you read somebody her yeah. rights, but you can't tell Chrissy <laughs> how you feel yeah. about her attitudes. And I know you was agreeing with Yandy. Yeah. You was just afraid to say something because you didn't want that woman all on top of you. But you should have said something. And what's going on with Emily and being I'm, the yeah. Susie of yes. the show? Because Emily, first of all, when she was sitting here with her Olivia and Yandy, Emily was way out of line because she gonna tell. She said something to. I forgot what so she my said. Best, my friend and, was and, and Gandhi was like, wait, I was out of line? Like, like uh, Emily, you should not have even been there because you don't even get down with Gandhi. Like, you should have just stayed home and mind. VH1 told her, bitch, you better say something if you want to be on next season. Okay. Because you was just, I'm oh, fab in it. Girl, I'm tired of hearing about you and Fabulous Client. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. I like I said on Twitter, all of that always oh, fab and his image, all of that is bullshit. If Jay-Z can walk around claiming Beyonce and not worrying about his image, what is the Fabulous and the Emily going to do to anybody not wanting yes. to buy his record? Yes. That is all bullshit. He just wants you to have his baby and he wants to fuck these other bitches because he's young and they throwing it to him. Emily, you don't need him. You need a real man. You need to let it go, okay? You might, he might, the dick might be good, but look at you crying all about him. Your life is messed up. He don't want to claim you. If a man don't want to claim you, then it's time to roll. It is time to roll. I'm not trying to be no backstage bitch when you in the front. You got the baby too? You want to, you got to be behind the scenes? Fuck that. No. No, no, no. And, 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 and Olivia, let me tell you something. Girl, you lucky somebody wants to sign you for one record deal. Okay. You talking about oh, three. So I don't want to be, be, I don't want to be tied in. <laughs> oh, who are you tied in with now? No damn body. I can't take her. I can't. Did she say, I don't want to be tied. See, that's how they get you. They get tied for three and tie you in. Girl, you don't even have one deal. And they offering you three. Three albums for one day you gonna get trapped in. I can't take her. Olivia, that train is going. That's a train to nowhere. Okay. Because Olivia thinks that she is this Rihanna slash Beyonce slash Gaga slash Katie slash Brit. Olivia, you have not even come close to their careers. Girlfriend. You need to take, like Kevin said, you need to strike while the iron is hot. Mm -hmm. And clearly, when they offered you three record deals, what is it, three record deals? No, it's three, one, one record, record deal, but three album albums. deals. That is when the iron was scorching hot. Okay. And for you to get on a confessional and say, you don't want to be locked down. Can you just imagine, like that's money in your pocket that you need. Because mm -hmm. I'm sure you don't have that much money out there she to be not be independent. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to invest 1.5 million. I can't even believe that. Mm -hmm. When she, she went out five hundred thousand dollars, she wanted five hundred thousand, yeah, thousand, and they're and trying to give her one point five a million dollars more. And she told, "See, this is what I'm talking about. These, you know what it is. You know what? 
I don't even know what it is, but Olivia, where the fuck is your mixtape? I'm starting to get mad because they're giving people like her and throwing money to people like her, and she's not even taking it. Where people like us, mm. hey, us over here, yay, we need it and we would love <laughs> to have it, and we are willing to work for it. Mm. And she gonna get on camera and say, "Oh no," because she don't want to be tied down. It'd be more money than she's probably ever made before. Cause she only had what the J Records deal. Mm -hmm. She was with J, mm -hmm. J G Unit, and then what happened? Girl, bye. I just can't take her. Oh, Olivia! Just when you think that she can't get no more. Rich, I feel sorry for you, player. Ooh, Olivia. This water is I so good. I feel like a praise break going on for her. Coming on. I don't even want to. I don't even want to give her. I don't even want to give her a heart. Though, yeah, I just feel as though she. Like Olivia, let me tell you something, girl. <laughs> She's not listening. She's just not. You don't <laughs> want it to be comfortable. <laughs> And just having one song out. So you released two songs during your Love and Hip Hop Ooh, stage. Jesus, heaven, but if you serious about your craft, you serious about your shit, you want people talking about you, people knowing about you, your ass should have been had a mixtape out. It should have been out. I mean like January, December, when Love and Hip Hop, when you knew Love and Hip Hop. Oh, that was a gunshot. When you knew Love and Hip Hop was coming back on, that's when you should have had a mixtape out. Uh -uh, don't act like you didn't hear that gunshot. I know, but so what, girl? My heart just jumped. I was, <laughs> my, your heart? I can't feel my big toe. Mm, mm, mm. Wake up! <laughs> that gunshot just really threw me off. And, you know, and somebody had the nerve to say, and somebody had the nerve to say, how come Mikhail always bashing North Philly? Mm. <laughs> that, that gunshot was for <laughs> Olivia's career, girl. <laughs> That was a gunshot while we were recording. You don't get no, you know what, Olivia? I, I want to like her, but her age, she's too hard headed. Kim Bella and, uh, what's her name? Erica. 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 Oh, about her, Erica. Her, she said my hot interview was more than that, it was longer than that. But girl, why are you bringing up a Kim Bella and your conversation? Why are you even talk? You should have told that interview lady, I don't even want to talk about her. You should say who? And left it move. Mm. Kept it moving. Mm. And then you won't let Kimbella come to your party. She stormed your party, read you, and then she just left. You know, I, I'm, I'm not really interested in them, but what I don't like is that both of them are trying to throw the word relevant around. Who's relevant and who irrelevant. If it wasn't for VH1 in this show, I would not know who y'all are, okay? So VH1 made both of y'all relevant. Okay. So don't be throwing that word around, okay? Don't throw that around so like it's like you're up here and somebody's down here. <laughs> okay. like, like, where are these the people fuck? coming from? You're like, I had no, nobody did not know who they were. Like, what? what? Y'all better throw that word around with a grain of salt, bitch. This time last year, I had no clue who a Kim Bella was. No. I, I must admit her body was banging in that cat suit or body suit, whatever you call it. It was banging. <laughs> yeah, it was banging. And what? But I did not know who you were, and now on the next episode, she'll be crying over you out. I just can't take these women. And then Kemsha, I mean Kemsha, uh, Samaya done turned into Kemsha. <laughs> girl, be like, girl, where you been? So then you want to be in the finale probably next week. When did, wait, you know, she said when did her and Kimbo become friends? I never because knew. Because when they first showed them, they... They didn't know each other and it was at the party when they were fighting and you didn't see Look, them no more. So I had to fill that contract, okay? So she did on that episode. Mm. She got but that was so stupid. They yelling and screaming at each other. I don't know. <clears throat> but I'm I'll be I can't wait till next week. But somebody needs to tell Chrissy the truth. Yes. Somebody. Olivia needs the truth. Emily needs the truth. Mona needs to be on every episode <laughs> reading them bitches. Okay. Let me, well, let me find out Mona's Twitter. Yes. She needs to do a summary at the end of every, every episode. episode. <laughs> yes! Like, what the fuck? Yeah. She needs to be the one that, that the producers send each girl to individually to find, like their psyche, to find yes. out what is it that they do in roles so she can read them, they fucking write. Okay. I bet you she, Chrissy went, that'll be the first and last time Kiss You Go. Because mm -hmm. Chrissy don't want to hear the truth. <laughs> Chrissy is one of those people, she don't want it. When you tell her the truth, she goes like that. Mm -hmm. She don't want to hear it. Mm -mm -mm. I, uh, Chrissy, you know what, Chrissy is on this high horse that... 
she lucky VH because if it wasn't for VH1, I wouldn't know who she was. I did not even know that Jim Jones even had a girlfriend. No. I did not know that before the show. I had not no clue. They, you say you want to marry me. That is the worst proposal ever. The worst proposal. Is you that say, what he said? You say you want to marry me. And then she break down crying. <laughs> and then even if we don't do Girl, I was done right there. And can can we talk about some oral transactions? Uh oh my god. Oh <laughs> my oh before my we go. God. Oh my god. Trina. Trina. Girl, you want some stuff, girl? Talking like that in front of Miss Evelyn like that. Uh uh, I cannot go for that part. Mm -mm. That part was just all crazy. But you know, I think Trina was in the heat of the moment because of course, again, take more Tamar opened her mouth. And Tony got her together. Tony got her all the all way together. I'm the heavyweight. <laughs> you fucking with the Prince Nassim of this shit. Okay. She let her know. Tamar, Tamar Gray, ain't nobody gonna keep apologizing to you. No. I don't think you, you deserve an apology. You need to apologize because you need to know when, what did we say last week? When the clap on and the clap off. When to clap, clap on, on and clap off. That was not the right moment to do that to Trina. It wasn't. That's just reminded me of the part when she got Tracy. Um, when Tracy was talking about her husband, when they was on a little boat and then or the yacht, said, yeah. and she like and like cheating with a different woman, like stuff like that. You don't need to throw shade. That's and just like and, and like Tony said, the mom did not need to hear that, mm -hmm. regardless of whether Trina boarded up or not. The mom, you know, she boarded up because you said something about it. Mm -hmm. You know. It was a fun episode, but I'm going to just sum it up. It was one of the realest episodes. Yeah, it's, it's the Tony, best one. You, it's rare that you see Tony get out of But mm -hmm. Tony, you could tell, was mad. Tony was very upset. Tony is the heavyweight champ. Trina loves to give out good oral transactions, and she's very good at what she does. Trina! Girl, <laughs> let me just say this. <laughs> let, me say, let me just say this. Um... Trina, girl, from one oral champ to another, when you are messing around with somebody and it's not really about love or feelings, it's just about sex or whatever the case may be, honey, you make sure you get your shit too. You don't be handing out no free licks. And you don't get nothing in return. Oh, but I let, uh, he, I let him well, they smell said it. That was an you let deposit. him smell it. <laughs> what does that mean? You know, well, that's just like what's his name? Gabe talking about he didn't put the head in. I don't understand. Yeah, she's been married to Gabe a little too long. Mm. Talking like that, okay? <laughs> There's no way on God's mm. beautiful green earth that I'm going to be messing around with somebody and I do all the work and they don't. Do nothing to me in return. Oh no, Trina. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. When she said that she he he didn't do nothing in return, I was like, what? But she and that. you say this on TV. Mm -hmm. Wait till she I see must her. be good at what she does. see her. Tell everybody. When oh, she TV must be because I'm pulling her to the side and say, <laughs> tell me what it is that you do, and I'll exchange <laughs> tips with you with what I do. Do you do it like that? No, I don't do it. Mm. What? I mean, but you know, but my, my Andre done said Tawanda is a freak, so... I don't want to hear about Tawanda and Andre having sex. I don't want to hear about that. I just want to... I just want to... I don't want to hear about that. I don't want to hear about that. La, 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 la. Oh, there is the, the I just want Trina. Is the best. I just want Trina. <laughs> I want Trina that the mm. next time she decides to go playing wherever she wants to go playing. Play a lollipop. Yeah, wherever she wants to, She wants to go to the candy shop and mm. lick a few items. Make sure she gets her item licked in return, okay? Because I don't want nobody telling me that they messed around with somebody and they did all the work. and Because the first thing I'm going to say is, well, what did they do with you? What would you let them do? Mm. Oh, I let them smell it. <laughs> smell what? What did you let them smell? <laughs> I hope you say your finger or your upper lip mm. with all that mm. sucking you was doing. Because... Mm. Trina, I could, but I won't. <laughs> She should at least got something else. Trina, you are, first of all, Trina, you are, let him hit up. Trina, you are beautiful. Mm. And for him to not even want to do something in return with you. 
Normally it's the other way around. The guy yeah. eat the girl out and first. she don't want I think yeah, because usually like, it is that way. The guy eat the girl out first mm -hmm. because he's trying to get her lo loose Loosen and comfortable yeah. so she can then turn around. But no, Trina, you just went head first. <laughs> Literally head first. It must have been huge or something because she just forgot everything she was supposed to do. Let's stop talking about it. That's what I want to see. Let's yeah. stop. <laughs> Trina, <laughs> shout out to you. Trina, you're still my girlfriend. You're still my girlfriend. And make sure y'all get that Jet magazine with Tamar and Vince on what the cover. What is Tamar wearing on the cover? Do you see it? I seen them. I ain't paying attention to the machine. Like what color? You don't know? I don't remember. I'm trying to figure out if it's the outfit she bought when we were all together. That did. Not you, but when I was in New York. Where? And she was looking for an outfit. I want to see if that's the outfit that she wore. Because the next day, she was shooting that cover with Vince. And she was saying oh. how she needed the outfit. That was fast. Jet don't play no game. Yeah, that was in December. Yeah. It was before Christmas. So, I mean, I guess it would be We out. could Google it. Well, well, we about to get ready to get up out of here. Done. I'm glad y'all watched this whole, I don't even know how long we've been on. But um, we'll be back on Monday. Oh, are we? Are we? I'm. Um, I'm um, reviewing American Idol this season. Cause it comes on tonight. Oh, it does. Yeah. Well, the auditions. Yeah, eight o'clock. Oh, I gotta get home. I'm so hungry. This the one right here. She got on black. Oh no, that's not it. That's a cute picture. Well, though. She yeah. looks a little over it. <laughs> <laughs> she does look a tad right, bit over. It. She looks over, it and Vince looks happy as ever. Mm -hmm. Like he just won the lottery. It should, it should be the, you know what, I'm not going to say that, but it's nice. It should be what? <laughs> I, give it to me, I think it's a cute picture. It's very cute. She just looks like she's over it. Why, I don't know. I don't think she's over it. I said but she, she should be smiling. It. Yeah, this smile is not, it looks like a forced smile. Like she's like, like they had to take... Numerous and numerous yeah, amounts of pictures, pictures before they got this one and she was just over it. Let me show y'all real quick. She looks over it to me. I think it's a cute picture though. <clears throat> I think it's a very cute picture. I think she just looks over it. That's the Vince has been rummaging through my closet with this plaid shirt. He knows I'm the king of plaid, even though this isn't really plaid. This is picnic table. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> so thank y'all for watching. We'll be back on Monday with a new video. I will be back with a new video where I'm discussing uh, Rico Love's artist, Shirley's mixtape. It's called uh, Ground Zero, and I really, really like it. And um, I hope that you guys download the mixtape. It's free to download. Y'all need to introduce yourselves to some new people besides the regular. And she sings really, really good. So, And I got a chance to talk to her. So anyway, I'm going to uh, do a review for that. That should be up tomorrow or Friday because I'm going to give y'all a chance to watch this video. And I don't know. I'm, I might discuss American Idol. No, I don't want to. I, uh, maybe when the uh, audition rounds are over with me. Yeah, uh, discuss it when the audition rounds are over. Yeah, and then so you can give your real, you know. Because yeah, because you know they're going to act the fool, laugh, blah, blah. I don't think the auditions haven't been as funny as they were when they first started out. Because I, I, I think when they first started out, it was like, <laughs> like now it's like people going there just just to be, to be on TV. But then it was like they, they were serious about yeah they were serious. Yeah, they they could see it was like that William Hung. Yes. That will forever she be. Bang, she <laughs> I remember that night like it was yesterday. I was sitting across my bed watching. It's this Asian guy. First, I was trying to figure out if he was all right up the stairs. You know, mm -hmm. is he okay upstairs? Hell no. <laughs> and where, he and where is his escort? Cause shouldn't somebody be walking around with him? <laughs> I was just saying. <laughs> I don't think I remember any. One like a ver one somebody saying like a virgin. Oh, that black girl who cussed Paula out. Remember how with the blonde wig she cussed Paula out? She on the hooker outfit. She cussed her out from the time they walked out. <laughs> from the time she walked out the room to the time she got all the way outside and mm -hmm. said, e who the fuck this one of that dude thinks she is? Ain't nobody remember her. So straight up there tell me if you really want. <laughs> they always report. They always read. They always report. Always. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> them to read J-Lo. She only should Oh my god. If somebody did, But you know what? She but, do Fiat commercials. Ooh girl. Even though I mean they could read J Lo with probably musically, but J Lo is like one of the biggest stars in the world. Paula Abdul just became big again because of American Idol. Yeah. Because before American Idol, who was thinking about her? Nobody. J Lo's been big for a long time. So you know they could 
Read J Lo, but it won't get too far. Except that they said she can't sing. Mm, she well, can't. she's all right. The I'll studio be, voice is all right. I'm not hiring her to sing in my way. <laughs> I'm just not. Oh, let let um let Jay Lo sing. Star Spangled Banner. Oh, girl. <laughs> 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 On that note, thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>